Welcome to Stock Babies Gaming Show for the Average Joe and Far Beyond. Far Beyond stuff like that, and so are Far Beyond Sobriety! Whoa! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, today we're continuing our special on video game music. Um, this time we're going to be focusing on the 32 and 64 bit eras. Oh, uh, wait, wait, what? Well, you know, like PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64. What about the Atari Jaguar? That, that belonged in the last video. Man, they came out during the Sega Genesis. No, no. It, yes, no. did. Yes, it was the first. It six, was the first uh, uh, okay, sixty-four. Okay, contr- uh, okay. N- okay. You know what? Uh, well, well, you know, <laughs> n- name me. N- name me a good, good job. Aliens. Did that have, have good music? No. Did that it have, had no music. No, of course not. Of course not. I'm the gutter cat. Lo fi Nick. And we're about to start talking some old school video game ness. So you know, sit back, and enjoy the shit. Ah, uh, no. All right, so yeah, so the Atari Jaguar doesn't really count because it came out in like the 16-bit era. It would have went with our last episode. It actually does fit. It just the chips literally sucked ass. Oh, I mean, come on, dude. It's okay. you know, remember like Doom on it. Yeah. Doom on the Atari Jaguar had like no music. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was like silent Doom. So if we could say anything about that 64-bit console, that the audio was fucked. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll just say everything that. on it about it sucked. Yeah. Oh man, like, did you, did you know anybody who had Atari Jaguar? I literally don't know anyone I at all. Let's anyone. Put it, I didn't even know that was a thing till like. I mean, I seen Saturns, but no oh, goddamn Jaguars. Sega Saturn. Let's, let's, let's jump into Sega Saturn. All right. Ooh. So I had a Sega Saturn when I grew up. So you know. You so yeah. You. Oh. Fuck. And you know what? It, Sega Saturn retains the same whimsy Sega music that you hear. Like, you you know how when somebody says Sega music, you kind of like you get this kind of like in your head like, oh yeah. Yeah, I, used to I too, remember Echo but, you know, Dolphin. I took some medication yeah. and uh, I don't know why. Well, you know, um, you, well, you would need to take some medication when you're playing games like Knights. That that had like a good. I, I love the soundtrack of Knights. See, you're an like, alcoholic jester like, flying through the dreams of some pansexual garden worker, and you gotta save the day. You know, saving children. Yeah. <laughs> no, but well, like, what that's about? I gotta find out. What uh, that's yeah, about you're pretty I heard about it. I know the sequel on the Weibo. You're like a dream kind of night. Just a man. That's, the, that's just so hard a, to explain. So he's a nice, clowny person Freddy trying Kruger. to save Dream World from nightmares. He's Kirby. <laughs> In other words, well, I'll be. without the sucky power. Yeah, that's a good ass power, though, Loki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Ooh, now I'm no, getting but, candy. But the music, the music had kind of like a. It, it had a CD. Well, because it was CD based, so Saturn also had the same CD based sound as um, PlayStation. And so, like, the music was, you know, light, whimsy, kind of like, it fit the... Honestly, I think I've read things about how Miyamoto, like, you know, Nintendo dude, pretty much was like, <laughs> or like, that the only game he ever regret that he never made was Knights. He wished that that was a Nintendo character. Wow. That That's how that game is. It's it's, it's freaking... Damn, so, with Miyamoto actually giving props to Sega, that's, yeah. that's something. Why are you giving props in general? Right? It's like, you know, it's, he kind of seems like just like a, you know... Him and fucking, what's his name? Heidi O both have a little... They kind of have a little complex going yeah, on, you know? you know? Yeah. I mean... Well, I mean, like, Hadio kind of seems like a, a chill dude, though. Yeah, but, you know, it's his entire movie... I mean, his entire games are based off of Kurt Russell. What? What is it? <laughs> no, right? Kurt Russell. It is based off Kurt Russell. Yeah. It's Kurt like, Russell and that, um, and Blade Runner. <laughs> Henry Ford. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I, love Metal Gear. I love Metal Gear. No, uh, yeah. So anyway, well, speaking of Metal Gear, you know, we, you know, let's jump to a PlayStation a little bit. Ooh. When it comes to music, Metal Gear. Well, as you were just saying, it, it, Metal Gear had influences based off like you know old movies, westerns, Escape and from um, Escape New York. from New York. Mm-hmm. So the the same type of music accompanied it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like, you know, when you were in like, you know, even the opening sequence, dude, you're just like, you know, you're coming out of like the I'll, water and I'll say this, man, not even the opening sequence, the damn intro to the actual game. That's what got me, right? Oh, you yeah. that thing up and you're a kid, but you didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? and it said Metal Gear, you're like, oh, shit, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Right? I'm, I'm, some I'm starting something now. Right, right? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, like, Metal Gear is, is... Well, I mean, the whole thing of Metal Gear is very cinematic, you mm-hmm. know, so... 
that, you know, in the PlayStation era, I mean, that, there was nothing seen. Like, in that era, there wasn't things that have been seen like that before. You know, before oh. that, you were playing freaking Bonk's Adventure. Yo! You know? So, All those, like, Army Men games and shit. Yeah, exactly. And it's now you're, you're playing games where you're, like, a super spy in a narrative. And, you know, oh that, that being said, it's like nano machines and shit. But yeah, I know. But- well, also, not only that in the horror aspect, I mean, Resident Evil was a sweet-ass game. It had some good music. It, oh, made you, yeah. it felt like the best goddamn sci-fi movie ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? like the music in, in Resident Evil yeah. was perfect atmospheric. But it was like, you know, like you're walking around, man, it's like... It's perfect, but I'll tell you this, though. When Silent Hill dropped... That's yeah, when I was like, this is an audio machine. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Silent Hill had, like... Wow. Silent Hill's music, that's atmosphere. You know, like, a lot, like, like, like I said, what I was just saying right now, it's uh, games jumped from being all cartoony womp, platformers womp, and stuff shit. to freaking atmospheric cinematic. So you had music that accompanied these games. Mm-hmm. You know, even even games like uh, fighting games. You know, fighting games don't are not known for their for their cinematics. But so take a game like um, Namco Soul Calibur. What's it called or Soul Blade? I should mm-hmm. say not Soul Calibur came out in the Dreamcast. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Soul Blade was Soul Edge in Japan, whatever, because rights and stuff like that. Weird, stupid things. You couldn't use that name. Yeah. But the music in that game, I swear, tops even the se- series today. Still. 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 Because it, it, each character, even though it's a fighting game, each character had were kind of themed about like what part of the world they were from. Oh shit. And the music what accompanied those it? characters, and they were, it was like using instruments of like old timey kind of sound so like it's like you were watching an old like Roman movie or something like that when you were playing as so a, whatever character is presented the theme would go to it and sort it of but like used in cinematic a, because yeah. they used horns trumpets you know like yeah, like say using like the, the, the character what they would do in a, a movie like the Greek girl the, the character it would be like with horns and stuff like let us begin the orgy yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, that, right uh, <laughs> so I mean like that's, that's crazy that's what I think you know when it comes to music you know right, also you know, both the racing games too I mean when you actually had actual audio tracks oh yeah and, oh, oh yeah. ooh ooh realistic audio Tony Hawk uh, okay, series. so let's talk about that. Okay, dude, let's so talk to that now. you know, in in that time in that time period, you also had what you know you could use actual real music in these games. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you know, people tried back then, you know, using similar things like you know, rock and roll racing had kind of like sort of the music. I mean, it had sort of lyrics and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm talking about like actual songs. To- <clears throat> like for one thing, comes up like the Tony Hawk series. You mm-hmm. know, on, across all the systems. The Tony Hawk series had music from actual bands, mm-hmm. you know, and this was like back then the skater, the skater revolution, skateboard revolution was happening. Nineties in, in the late nineties, early two thousands and stuff. Mm. And you know, like the music back then is, is you know, it's, it, it still hits here. It's pretty good. It's like you know, it's. Well, let's put, it, put it this way: if I could actually sing a certain super band, I could actually, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, freaking! That's where I first heard AFI, and I was like freaking. Wait, what what AFI it. song? Uh, the boy who destroyed the world, uh, Tony Ooh. Hawk Three. I never played Part Three. You never played Part? No. Uh, how? I never played Part Three. <laughs> you played Part Two though, right? Yeah. Yeah, Part Two is like you know, dun 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 dun. Fucking uh, what is that one song called? Ace of Spades. Yeah. Yeah, he's most gonna pop. Right. I oh. got some macaroni and cheese for myself. So you let me. No, okay, yeah, yeah. He's a. Uh, yeah, his mom popped up. <laughs> no, but yeah, fucking. Uh, so yeah, you yeah. know. Let's go. You know, games had soundtracks, you know. They, you know, and. They, like, to their credit, other, like, you know, um, some tried, some games didn't, you know, like, uh. Like, say. Like, when you were comparing the systems, you got PlayStation, you got uh, Nintendo 64. Now, when it came to 64, 64 was good with graphics, games, 3D, polygonal stuff. But their music was kind of a little bit on the lacking. It was softer. It was softer. Muffled you know, didn't have. Most. But you had some gems in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, t- take, take, okay, and then you know, we all know that Nintendo is good at what they do. They they know their own hardware system. Yeah, they make you know? it. So you get they things should. like Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. You know, the games, it's all music. Yeah. Like the whole game is about music, and so you got these melodies and chip tunes that still stick with your head, in your head, because you know, freaking um. Ocarina of Time the best Legend of Zelda game. Mm, Twilight Princess. So anyway, <laughs> um, 
We're gonna have people debating about that. I don't, I don't give two flying shits. No, no, For honestly, me, it's Twilight Princess, and yeah, I'll be right? like, what? Bling, bling. And why, why was that one? And then Wind Waker. Breath of the Wild. Bling, bling, bling. And then someone's gonna be like, no, it's Wind Waker. Bling, bling, bling. It's called fucking opinions. It's called opinions. And that's what we have, and that's why you're listening to us. What about Orkina Time? Well, yeah, that, um, that's the same asshole. <laughs> They said, I'll play golden eye any, any time of the day. <laughs> Call it a cookie. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, dude. Like, like golden eye had, like, music from the movie, sort of. Yeah. D- like, yeah. 64 version of the movie music. Yeah, which is... it, it was fucked. Well, it's not bad. You know, I'll say this. As a kid, I had some good uh, fun with mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 but when the next hot thing jumped, that was not hot anymore. It's one of those games where, like, dude, you play this one. It's not... The fucking greatest fucking Bioshock, Metroid Prime, Half Life fucking oh, game. Oh, that's next time, man. We'll it's, I know, those. I know. But, we're gonna be talking about those. But this, this is um, it, it's good for what it is. You know? Oh yeah, I mean, like you know, I mean, like you know, what came after that? Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark had more of a noir. No, I don't want to say noir. What's the word? Sci-fi. Like, sci-fi, super spy kind of music going on. Mm-hmm. So you know, you, it was like you were in an episode of Cowboy Bebop with that music going on. Actually, not even. No. no, there's no bebop. I was just all. thinking of the sci-fi part of it. Well, you're a, you know, there's some oh, aliens, and you're doing some sci-fi shit. Yeah, but it had kind of action music to it, so kind of, you know, the same makers with Golden Eye, so it had kind of same. Like Blade Runner, if anything. Sa- yeah, 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 something like that, exactly. But it's, no, it, it did some good uh, stuff though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it did good stuff. I mean, the '64 wasn't, you know, like I mean, who could forget the DK rap? Everybody, everybody what? forgot the DK rap. Well, let's not bring it up. For copyrights and my own personal sanity. Right. <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm a DK and I take bananas and yeah, I pause them in, in the, the the ocean. Yeah, and I'm positive for the community. Positive for the community. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Save clean rap. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what other games we can take? A- oh, okay. So let's jump back to the PlayStation for a bit. Yeah. Um, every Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Let's not fucking oh, man, skip let, those let's gems. Let's not skip because this is okay. So <laughs> as much as everybody swears up and down, you're still sit talking, jacking off. That, seven, that, yeah. that, uh, Final Fantasy six. No, no. That Final Fantasy six better than seven. Uh, you know what? No. Seven had good music. Six had great music, but it was all sixteen bit chiptune stuff. Seven had music that your was freaking epic. I know, I'm stretching. Oh. I'm stretching. No. I that you're trying to declare something. No, I'm not declaring anything. <laughs> no, because Final Fantasy right? Seven. You no, know, I love Final Fantasy Seven. Final Fantasy Eight had amazing music. Great. It's a really good fucking eight, game. Eight had music that was, like, epic as hell. And then that opening sequence, I mean, like, it, you know, have you ever played the, the Pizza Hut demo? No. Okay, well, there was a Pizza Hut demo. Pizza Hut used to give people PlayStation games, kind of in demo form. And so there was one that had a Final Fantasy VIII, kind of like a like a demo ver like a no, yeah. demo ver a freaking uh, a demo disc yeah, yeah. and so it will it will be yeah. the part that's not really in the game so the music coming from there was so epic and stuff that they had to take it off because it sounded like the theme song from the movie The Rock damn you know that damn. freaking 007 movie The Rock, Double- <laughs> the Rock was. Uh, <laughs> With, it's a uh, 007 movie. You can't fucking lie. That is me. not a 007 movie. That okay. D- okay. The Rock is a fucking... Sean uh, Connery as 007 was right, got himself it, incarcerated in second. Alcatraz. What's the name of the, the director? Mm, I don't know who directed that movie. Michael Bay? Yeah. That's a Michael Bay movie, not a James Bond movie. And I'll it's, say this why. James Bond movies take thought. <laughs> this that, shit. That's why... That's why... <sighs> yeah. James Bond movie had at, um, James Bond series in general had better um, writing. I still say than that, that Sean Bay. Connery's James Bond just is as an undercover. Who told you that it was John B- uh, Connery's James Bond? Because yeah, I, I don't I don't see uh, hear you saying this. Sh- Sean Connery is James Bond because he got you know because he was I, James Bond because when, <laughs> when yes I know this that's what I'm saying you know when a James Bond pretty much retires yeah he, you know the James Bond the 007 is a, is a nickname is a code name this is not I know but you James, know. so so you know that's why every every 007 yeah. Yeah, I know, a different I know, actor. I know, but you're trying to compare this by saying it's... I'm a, saying that that Sean Connery is James Bond after he got, like, you know, finished from MI6. He did his own thing, whatever, so and then he got like, going to Alcatraz. So, fan theory. No, it's it's, it's reality, bro. Fan theory. So, this yes, fan theory... Fan theory says that... Who then, who uh, wrote this fan theory? I don't know. Just, I, it sounds retarded. The interwebs. Sounds stupid. 
Whoever wrote this is retarded. So anyway, Final Fantasy VIII's demo sounded like the theme song from The Rock, which was I, a I, Michael Bay. Movie. I actually spliced the video with that audio once before, and I swear to God, it looked like the exact. It was the exact same song. You can put that same uh, same shit with fucking almost uh, no parts of uh, Caribbean. Almost. Almost. That, yeah. that scene, yes. Da, 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 da. Yeah, come on. Yeah, da, right. da, 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 da. yeah you know what. Or fucking um, Last of Mohicans. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but then, yeah. then you get to Final Fantasy IX, which I think had some of the best battle music of all the Final Fantasies. IX was. That's, just, my favorite just, the, it, that's my favorite one, actually. Yeah, it's that. all like, you know, because it, it combines yeah. the classic, your Final Fantasy VIIs, with your Final Fantasy VIIs, and you get this kind of like mesh of two different things that make a pretty good soundtrack. Yeah. I would say, I mean, like, yo, like I said, the battle music alone is, like, great. Yeah, Excuse second me. bubbles. <laughs> right? Um, but no, we got things like that. Then you got something like, um... Then you got, um... Doom. Doom. Let's talk about Doom. All right. You know, okay. You ever played the CD version or, or Final Doom? Okay, well, no. I, yeah, I played Final Doom before. Yeah. Final Doom is amazing. It doesn't have the original fucking uh, it doesn't, music. It, doesn't it just have has this spooky-ass shit. Yeah. Like, that's the six, just die. like the 64 version. Which was well, awesome, Doom too. 64 was its own game, and it wasn't actually Doom, but... No, it's it, a, but the music, the person who made the music for that had its own kind of thing. Actually, the, supposedly... Uh, no, 64 one is actually canon, low-key. Yeah, yeah, I know it's canon. What I'm saying is, what, Yeah, what I'm saying is that the music was by a different guy. It wasn't by the same people at it. Who did the do the did the music? Tim Messenger. Something yeah, Tim Messenger. Let's just go with Tim Messenger. <laughs> nah, shout out to Tim Messenger. Uh, I don't know. Um, what's it called? <laughs> yeah, but like you know, if you if you've seen a, it, did you know that the PlayStation version of Doom was a completely different one too? Yeah, it was its own kind of like um, created game. It had like stages that were different and all that stuff. Even it had a whole new chapter. Mm, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's freaking nuts. Yeah, that that is called uh, Doom Super PlayStation Edition or something like that. Not Final Doom? Not Final Doom. Final so Doom it's called uh, Lost Levels or some shit like that? Yeah, exactly, the Lost Levels. <laughs> like, Doom, the Lost Levels, Five Mario, fucking dead. <laughs> right? Oh, okay, you know, we obviously, we. I mean, like, we talked about this endlessly last time, but, you know, Castlevania and Mega Man. Ooh. Come on. The Mega Man X games for the PlayStation had amazing music. I don't give a fuck if there were freaking games that people disliked because of, like, the whole systems they implemented, but you can't then tell me that Mega Man X4's music was not almost some of the best in the series. You know, that gave you zero theme song and all that. We're not talking about the fucking... Although this talks about audio, we're talking about the... You know, not about the voiceover. <laughs> you know, we're making... Whoa. Yeah, we're making man sound like, Hey, what are you doing, Zero? And she's like... Wait, wait, for real? That's what he sounded like? On Mega Man X4, yeah. That would be funny, too. And, and, and Zero sound like some kind of, like, pubescent teenager. Like, no! What am I doing? Yeah, let's not get into that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're telling me uh, one guy sound like fucking Mandark. <laughs> you, know, you know what's that? That guy from Yu Yu Hakusho. Mandark. We gotta protect the... Uh, uh, what, what the fuck? Yeah. Spirits run. Uh, Almost, yeah. We gotta Almost. resell the, the, the crystal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. And then, uh, you know, Mega Man, but Castlevania music for... Wait, 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 wait. I gotta find out what does fucking... What's Dr. Wily gotta sound like? Uh, Dr. Whoa. Wily isn't in the fucking Mega Man. It's just... But he was in Mega Man 8, which also came out on PlayStation. Ooh. And he sounded like fucking... I don't remember. The Hank Hill. Well, let's just say he didn't sound like Hank Hill. Like, I love my social like, paper. Yeah, just like the King of the Hill PlayStation game. What? That never happened. Oh. I, I, remember, reading a, I remember reading an article on like... Like an old MTV magazine, I think. How the fuck can you make a um, that, King of the Hill? That said, like King of the Hill is finally gonna be coming a game, become a game or something like that. But how? I, I don't know. But could you imagine the soundtrack for that? Like it's a fucking JRPG. <laughs> Propane. <laughs> Propane. <laughs> or like and that one game. comes out. Dang it! <laughs> the light, light and bolt or some shit. Oh man! Peggy uses fucking confusion. Oh man! <laughs> this isn't a multiple, multiple freaking system freaking thing because I was about to say like the South Park game, but never mind. Oh, so wait, talk- oh wait, wait. You, you never played the South Park 64 game? Well, yeah, yeah, no, we're, I was going to talk about that right now too. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it didn't have any music for the game on the show. Oh, no, no, it just it did, but sort of like the intro, like the intro was all fucked up, like yeah, it's just fucking shit. 
And the actual music was just like repeated fucking a 30 second fucking track, and but alternate here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be fair, I remember it, so I guess yeah. it sort of worked. But it was like every level. I mean, first you kill turkeys. <laughs> right? Then clones. you kill clones. Oh, I'm starting there. to think I see a pattern here. <laughs> Al- aliens. It was like the same shit, wasn't it? It was just like uh, a bunch of, a horde of these same monsters keep coming at you. Yeah, that's it. It was a horde. It was, this was, it was uh, Left 4 Dead. It was oh, Left 4 Dead. It was Serious Sam. Sam. It was Serious Sam. It was Serious Sam. But Sapphire, was it the same people? No, it wasn't. No. Uh, you but know the same but type it, of gameplay, though. Yeah, but I think the same people made Turok. Now, Turok had some interesting music. Yeah. Well, at least the first one. So I hear like, whoa, this limited 64 sound had a freaking drum beats. Hey, I felt like I was in the jungle, like I was about to fuck up some dinosaurs. I know, right? Just you got your bow and arrow. They come fucking out. Tech bow. Oh, my dinosaur! So I am, and you shoot it down with your little right? arrows. Like, oh, I got shot. <laughs> right? I'm not the last mate. <laughs> why, why, why do the dinosaurs talk like Australians? Australians? Yes. I was, I was jungly. I was. Every time I think about a fucking dinosaur movie, it's a fucking Australian with fucking short pants. What if they fuse one with a fucking dinosaur? You know, he's cool and all. It just once in a while he'll eat a fucking raw uh, venison or some shit. Yo, I'm awesome, Saurus Rex, and I'm gonna take you on an adventure. What's that? I don't know. I was thinking like hip hop mixed with Australian. This, you gotta sound like Pikey. No, Pikey's a Pikey. Oh, not, not Pikey, not Pikey. Uh, you gotta talk like like Jamaican. Yeah. Jamaican with English or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, I just saw that from fucking this one show. Like, <laughs> yo, man, you just gotta go down to the ropes. You know what I'm saying, man, yeah. From two, we go from London down to Paris, France, and we drop in the beat. Here we go, DJ fucking Juan. Oh, dropping the beat, by the way. The rapper, the rapper. <laughs> Whoa, Papa the yo, rapper. Damn. You just gotta believe. You gotta stop and hit. <laughs> hit, stop. Hit the, yeah, the all right. When you press all the random buttons, I like, pop on the gas. It's kick that. It's slap that, your friend. That, that, it's a, <laughs> it's that, a jump out that, the window. That, 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 Dude, that, that, jump out the window. And like, every time you would fail, like, <clears throat> like in the cartoon or the game, whatever, he would mess up. Like, it's like, all like, punch the window. Ow. <laughs> punch because you pressed the wrong button at the wrong time. Fucked up, homie. It's all, and then they end up crashing. I'm thinking that wasn't part of the game. Just um, going around, don't get rocky. It's going to get cocky. Stick to the yeah. music and want to drop this sucky. Some shit. Here we go now. Kick, bunch, block. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That was a, I fucking love that. I love that part. That I love great. that shit. Uh, yeah, and then nobody, nobody like Perot. We're going we're gonna to send this dog out for one second. Wait, wait, don't, don't, don't. Here you go. Let the dog out. Here you go. You let the dog out. Come on. Yeah, you don't want to parade. Now she wants to come in Parappa. Because she's a dog. When she heard Papa the Robin, now she wants to hear what that yeah, whole yeah, she, about. She wants, yeah, exactly, right? Uh, it's for the ladies. <laughs> I'm a, there's, there's, like I said, I mean, examples of music, Duke Nukem. No. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. I mean, again, on the on that bit, on those eras, so that each one, each game had its own music, version of music. Yeah. If you're a 64 version, you didn't have any music. Yeah, dick, dude. You didn't have anything. It looked nice. They rebuilt it from the ground up with no music. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, you know, 64, uh, sorry, PlayStation and Saturn had their own musics to it. Of course, you, I mean, like, you should, do we talk about, like, old school PC? Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, well, it's good, you know, well, to do 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 Nukem, all those well, PC games. That's right? 30, I think it would be thirty two right there, so it does definitely count. I would just say um, PC past ninety uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the console's like, oh shit, look what computers can do. Everything we gotta do something. It's all that Bill Gates, uh, you know, sling doom to us. Like, Actually, there was a Windows version of Doom came out late, didn't he? That's why he was in the video of it. Yeah. He was like, yeah, you could play now Doom. Yeah. You're like, Bill Gates, you actually used to do silly shit. <laughs> All right. But, you know, people are like, Doom? I gotta, I gotta fucking snort some 90s um, um, whipped cream. Oh, sleeping pills. I want to take these 90s pills. <laughs> uh, caffeine pills. Caffeine pills. <laughs> chucker, tr- uh, chucker pills. Yeah. And medication. You know, because, you know, you can... Rattlers, there you go. I got to take these rattlers. You weren't, you weren't <laughs> supposed to get addicted to caffeine pills. You're not supposed to. You know, I can that, imagine that, that's bad for you. I can imagine fucking kids just uh, giving a handful of those fucking caffeine pills like, got to play some fucking doom. <laughs> There was no monsters back in the day. <laughs> uh, the kids were not gonna taste uh, bitter ass coffee. <laughs> uh, uh, I love Saved by the Bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so. Is that the song that comes out when you take your fucking jump me? You're like, whoa, this, she's definitely having a meltdown here. I'm, I'm a kid. This is really odd for me. <laughs> That's all. Like, I feel something funny. <laughs> Zach's like, whoa. 
Well, what's your name again? Uh, Trini. <laughs> Trini. Trini. <laughs> Trini. <laughs> Trini. Uh, go, Tiffany. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, power Troops. All right. All right. Uh, wait, it's saved by the. Mm. Saved by the Yellow Ranger. Um, you should not take those um chucker pills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the girl is Asian nor she was she. <laughs> no. Dark hair. Actually, the girl had a like curly. I don't she know. was blonde. Not, or well, yeah, I don't know. She, she was, like, not, she was not like New Jersey in or something. She she was like one of those athletic broads with curly hair. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go with that. <laughs> she, um, I got it. I feel bad knowing her name. She's one of my favorite characters. I know, right? Wait, wait. Shout out to Saved by the Bell chick whose name we forgot. She's like in her fucking couch twiddling a fucking the medallion and shit. Like, if you forget one more time, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, fucking. You know, you hear the it, background is this. Well, damn Rattlers Right <laughs> Fucking But it's, it's hard to remember People's names When you had Fucking I got fucking had Pablo Escobar Or whatever his name was <laughs> Pablo Escobar <laughs> What was his name Ooh. I forget his name too The muscle dude <laughs> Oh my Slater <laughs> Pablo Escobar <laughs> His name's not Pablo Escobar It's a fucking uh... Oh man I don't know I don't know Either way Slater I'll... I don't remember that was the joke though. Oh, no. Dustin uh, Diamond. Dustin Diamond. <laughs> Dustin Diamond. Diamond Dustin. Dustin. Diamond. Oh man. Oh, how do we start talking about Saved by the Bell? <laughs> okay, something about drugs. Oh, Someone uh, said I'm not so excited. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, fucking. I mean, the systems back, like I said, the the 32 bit, 64 bit eras were good with music because they were the first CD based. Mm-hmm. One, so people were like were jumping at that, like like oh shit, yeah, like we can make actual music now. Like, and you know back, you know when you first discover something, you just take it to the fucking extreme, yeah, and just to see how far you can go. And I then mean, Coolio came. I mean, if you think about it, fucking uh, what? <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, um, I mean, Twisted Metal had just like metal. Oh, ah, there you go, Twisted Metal. You can't forget that they had metal tracks exactly. I mean, Rob Zombie even came out in the fourth one. Oh my god. So imagine that you're driving down with this insane fucking clown car. You load up your fucking missiles. You get a power up. You see the guy. You put the music on. And you come to me on a summer's breeze. Actually, <laughs> actually, now here's the thing. Because the crazy thing about that oh, is man. Twisted Metal was one of the few games where you could actually take out the disc and put your own music in. Really? Yeah, you could put in a music disc and it will play it in the background. So you're telling me... You're ready to play, you put the disc in, you, you're ready to fire, and all you hear is, When you come to me on a summer breeze. Shout out to uh, Paula Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag um, comic god. Hashtag um, Slim Shady uh, god version. Hashtag uh, purple dinosaur. <laughs> no hashtag. Purple hashtag dinosaur. shagging shaggers. Oh, speaking of purple dinosaurs, mm-hmm. Elmo. Huh? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I was just thinking of Barney, Elmo, Sesame Street games. I'm pretty sure they didn't have good soundtracks. Oh, yeah. They had, they had a, yeah, they're horrible. Yeah, they had terrible, they had horrible. terrible soundtracks. Nobody mm-hmm. wants to play Elmo in Grouch Land. Um, was that actually a game? Any- <laughs> I think that was a PS2 game, actually. I might be wrong about that. Oh, well, I don't really know because, you know, I was, <laughs> I was playing Metal Gear Solid, dropping my balls. <laughs> Legend of I'm Dragoon kind. had good music. So, I mean, like... It, when it comes to music, I mean, like, it's hard to, like, just think about, like, how, like, how games are nowadays, how it's such the norm, but back then, like, companies tried to make epic-ass soundtracks yeah. because of the new technology that let them use CD-based music. Well, except for 64, they're like, you get to finally unlock the ability of the fucking music audio, and then they said, well, it's muffled, though, it's a cartridge Yeah, do, 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 do. <laughs> but Nintendo did have iconic do, 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 I mean, like, I mean, there's not much else I could say. Conker's Bad Fur Day, I don't even think I mean, they didn't have that. Music was alright, I guess. I think Conker's was a parody of parodies. Yeah, why. actually, then you know, the and song from the Big Mighty Pooh, so... I mean, all of it, though, together was... I think it's actually a great... It was a, a great time for it to be released because if they released it now, it's going to be in pop culture about nowadays shit, which is going to be like, uh, ooh, that's, that's, ooh, that's fun. Ooh, yeah. Back in the day, though, uh, ripping on that shit was perfect. It was fresh. Stuff like that, exactly. You know. Facebook. But, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me check my status. And he, like, pulled out a phone or something like well, that. Cockroach would be like... Wow, let's see what Barry's doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, that's nice. I, I, I didn't have enough money to have an Uber. <laughs> come uh, here. You gotta come here and check this out. <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, like I said, it's my I mean, means. Throughout, the, throughout, the, throughout all the years, I, mean, the, I remember finding mostly the PlayStation era. 
because well because I had all the systems back then. So, but like you know, oh oh my god, what? I was about to end that show without talking about the WCW versus NWO games. Oh you prick! Those the soundtrack to that it's like one of the best sixty four soundtracks, dude. Because of that shit. Raw's War. Raw's War and all that shit. Fucking for sixty four. And you're like, holy shit, I'm ready to fucking slam mo- mo- oily muscle men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible. They're just, t- they're just tossing, like, you know, people left and right. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, no, but that those games, they, like, I like playing those games just for the music alone. I mean, like, even that, like, you know, I know the later games are superior, but I mean, going back to that first one just because of the music, you know, it's like, let me pick the Black Ninja. <laughs> Who the fuck was a black ninja? There's, a, uh, there's, there's just a black ninja in the game. Is there? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's just a black ninja. Oh. I always played Gold uh, Bird. Gold Bird. Not Gold Bird, I mean uh, Gold Dust. And gold I dust. just like to <laughs> stare at him and just see what he does. <laughs> you know? You know when you see something kind of freaky and you just want to fuck with it? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like, when, like, let's say you see an alien come out and he, like, he has tentacles and... And, and, and he has a lot of guns And there's some guy Just walking by You toss a rocket to the alien You say he, he did it And he fucks with him Or you've seen a drug deal Go down right mm-hmm. And you say He's wearing a wire And you just You know record it When gang <laughs> Tonight on Fox <laughs> When gangs go wrong Seven <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> Oh god Yeah no, like, Yeah that's what I'm talking about though It's yeah. like that What's it called Actual soundtrack of the 32 and 64 bit eras were was a, it was an amazing time to be young at that you know like they did the music they tried to make was beyond something that you could do nowadays you yeah know? it's a new technology so they actually felt like they were going through foreign waters it felt exciting it felt uh, palatable they could finally put real audio into their video games the things they actually imagined exactly now, now in the future of course we can literally do what the hell uh, we want but at that time you felt like an actual artist right I mean like you know when you look at the new Soul Calibur game coming out it has the same style of music but doesn't have the same gravitas it doesn't have the same like it doesn't grab you the way the original one it's did. like they, they all sat around like we're gonna create a new IP it's a fighting game with it's about this each person gonna have its own orchestrated music it's gonna be this big huge they didn't expect a, a series from this you're just making a fucking game right a, an amazing game with audience so you know like you know it'd be good to go back and just you know play those games and you know remember what you know real mu- game music sounded like but for now, we're going to be moving on to the next ones after this, you know. That was the end of part two. Next time, we're going to be doing part three, which is going to be PS2 and GameCube and, and freaking Xbox era, which, though it has its own good thing, don't worry, you know, it's not just all about, me, you know, current music. There's going to be, there's a lot of things, you know, you got things like Halo and things, but we'll save that for next time. We have Ola, we have Ola, the we Germans, got, we, we got Metroid Prime. Promos. Promos. We have but, Promise Mets. But then we'll, we'll stop at that. All right, play us out, Jeremy. Cut that shit. All right, you good? Yeah, I think I think I think the new intern's working just fine. Yeah, I mean, um, last one we, uh, I don't know, I, I think it was, it wasn't a, a, a drug problem. I think it was mas- mostly um, um, mental. He, he well, was mental. Well, I mean, he didn't have his middle finger, so I guess he just couldn't stop the audio when he needed to. What? I know, but he could use his fucking index finger. I'm just saying yeah, the guy was well, mental. You, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. It was, uh, he was kind of mental. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, like Tim I mean, fucking we're, hired his ass we're, we're and went to space. We're, so. we're trying to be philanthropists here and, you know, hiring the mentally, and, you know, he can't even stop the freaking audience. Oh, wait, so you actually knew he was fucking handicapped? But you didn't? No. Oh. I, Tim said he was going to get me a fucking awesome guy, and boom, sh- right in the fucking space. Yeah, right? Yeah, so you're telling me he was at, you knew about him being fucking mentally handicapped. Yeah, 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 I sort of did. I sort of okay. did. Okay, why did you tell me, and why didn't you tell him to use his other finger? Every fucking time, he had to fucking use his head. <laughs> that was your to get a dead giveaway. Well, I, I thought he was punk rock. <laughs> well, well, well good, good thing we got this new intro. He knows how to... Oh, God damn it. He didn't stop it either. Wait, wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. No, wait, wait. Let's address the fucking problem. What is your fucking deal? Are, are you... I know this ain't politically correct. Dude, um, dude, dude, he's mute. He can't answer you. Maybe okay. He's sign languaging you right now. Yeah, but we... Okay. Not head. We don't understand. We can hear. <laughs> just tell us. Just because, just speak. We can get it. I, I'll just stop it right now. We'll deal with this right now. Okay.